Hey everyone, Merix here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Edge, Rated Z. Edge is the newest zombie. He's a modern era technician. He has several links, uh, multiple zombies ones, 20% more health, 25% more move damage, 5% more gem damage. He has one gear, the Rated Z gear. He is a coach all the way at 9k. Black gems do 2200 more damage. That would be amazing on someone like Alpha. Uh, so... Edge is incredible. Uh, he's certainly a top tier tech with or without the plate. This preview is going to feature the plate. Um, and I will do another preview after this without the plate, should you get Edge without the plate. So this is the Z plate. Um, whenever you make four or more countdown gems, increase your gem damage by 50% and reduce your opponent's gem damage by 35% for two turns. So it's an offensive plate and then like a mini cheap shot for two turns built into one. Amazing plate. Love it. It'll be great on a lot of different superstars with countdown gems. So clutch plate. Uh, I feel like this is one of the best plates they've made. Uh, all the movesets today, I'm going to be running Double Fury. I also think those would be the best uh, for Edge. Um, you can see with the strap here, I have 137% green move damage and 142% um, yellow gem damage. The gem damage is uh, deceiving because it shows your potential. So take 50% off from the Z plate that's showing on there. So it's actually 50% less uh, gem damage. Uh, damage. So we're basically at uh, 92% uh, yellow gem damage, and the other color's not quite as high, uh, like 75%. So I do have a Max Fury plate on, or a Fury um, metal on, 30%. I do have a Max Tier 4 green move damage metal, so that should give you guys a really good idea of how Edge is going to play. Uh, two of the move sets I'm going to run twice, once with normal trainers, once with rare trainers, so you can see what the average person will do, and if you have some rare trainers, what you can do there. The So I'm running four different move sets, but two of them I'm running twice. Um, so we're going to start off with the five-star triple green, um, and this is not my favorite move set. However, it can do a really big turn two if you get a green match on turn one. It's going to feature the Z-Spear, or the z -peer. Uh, 10 MP green finisher, deal 154k damage and decrease countdown tiles by 2 and pin the opponent. Deathomatic, uh, 1 MP green, deal 48k damage plus 8.6k bonus damage for every countdown gem. And the bite, 5 MP green, deal 70k damage and make 20 random gems into 2 turn countdown gems that will deal 8 k damage and destroy 2 random gems. So that's going to destroy 40 gems if they're all on the board. Uh... Entourage, we're running with Steel for more green MP, KO for green move damage, um, J for green move damage, and then Ember for a little bit higher chance of greens on the initial board. We're going to run all of these against Z-Taker, Zombie versus Zombie. Uh, you guys know I like going against Z-Taker on the road, done it quite a bit lately. Um, so let's get out here and take a look. And do keep in mind, my favorite uh, two movesets are coming up, up at the end, and my very favorite will be the last one I run. Um, so turn one, we want a green match. We do have it. Um, we also need to get the countdown gems out before we do that match. So let's throw those out. And let's hit this move. You can see the Z plate triggered. It shows in the left corner. Uh, we're going to take off about 500k this first turn with that, those moves. Going to get this green match. And we're going to be able to do both of those greens right away again next turn. I do have tour perks, plus 2 MP and plus 1 on a match. So we're going to throw the countdown gems out again. So we're going to be completely covered on the board. Then we're going to hit this move again. Uh, he's at 936k. I think we're going to hit close to 500k here total. 400k, something like that. Yeah, 400k. So he's down to 500,000, and you can see the finisher already is going to finish him off. So if you're setting up for turn 2 on this, I think you can do about 3 mil. Uh, 5 star silver this way uh, on turn 2. So this is playing for turn 2 with a match uh, on turn 1. A little bit uh, hits super hard, a little bit slower. That's why it's not my favorite. But you can see it blows up the whole board, and it does a lot of damage. That pin was uh, 845 dam 845k damage plus the over 400k finisher. 
So that was a 1.2k finish after dishing out over a million damage. So it's pretty pretty high uh, move damage on turn two. Pretty great. Let's take a look at the next move set. This move set, I literally have in here just to show you guys the moves. Under no circumstance would I ever run this move set. It is inferior in every way to all of his other ones. In fact, the destroy, um, the destroy moves um, will only target like the random one, the finisher. Here, I'll show you what I mean. It's easier if I show you. So you know how if you play a card and it says destroy random gems, how it always targets the special gems last. You have to be out of regular gems before it destroys the special gems. I wanted to run this one um, with the destroy uh, move and the bite. So it destroys two random gems. How it, uh, in conjunction with the sub that turns gems into row breaks. However, it targets the row breaks only after all of the other gems are done. And uh, it just, and you're already breaking most of the board anyway, so the damage just wasn't there. So I did try tricolor, uh, it didn't really work. And then um, we'll run this and you'll see what I mean. It's just way slower than all of the other options out there for you. Uh, so, no, I don't like the sub. I would never use it. And we're going to pair it with the one turn uh, death matic Since we have nothing to load uh, anything. I see what this moveset is going for. I really just don't like it. We'll get the trainers changed out here. And then I'll read the moves off after I get the trainers turned out, since I forgot it, since I was running my mouth. Slick Rick for 20% more gem damage. Woods for more purple MP. Cena for uh, green gems, and then an extra countdown gem. And Lacey Evans for more purple and green gem damage since we're it theoretically blowing up a lot of the board. It just turns out to not be as much as all the other builds. Um, so this one is inferior in every way. I would never, there's, an, I can't see a scenario where I would recommend using this over any of the other ones. Um, so back to Zool. We'll call it uh, 7 MP submission, generate 20 random sub gems, do 15k for 4 turns, remaining sub gems turn into row breaks, downwards spiral, uh, 5 MP purple, deal 70k damage and make 20 random gems into 2 turn countdown gems that will destroy 1 random row break when activated, and then again the death matic deal 48k damage at 1 MP bonus uh, damage for the countdown gems. Let's get out there and see how this one looks. And it doesn't look good. Trust me. Um, I will be doing a preview of Edge without the plate as well later today. Uh, so I'll get that one out in case you don't get the plate. Can't remember if I said that or just thought that. Um, if you don't have the Z plate, I would recommend using the Cheap Shot pretty much for all of his builds. Uh, the downside to this is you have to get the countdown gems out to get them to tick. So we're going to put those out before the sub. And uh, my messenger is going off, so just fantastic. It's okay. It is what it is. And then we're going to hit the sub. So you can see the problem with this build, right? I mean, it's only one turn because Z-Taker's lowering it too. But we're not going anywhere after this, right? It takes two turns to get the countdown gems to tick. Um, yes, we can hit this each turn, but the damage just isn't there. Uh, we're going to take a row break here and then break more of our countdown gems, so we'll do less damage. Um, or will you save it? I mean, like, I just don't, I don't like it. Um, so you could save it, but, I mean, whatever, I'm going to hit it. Well, we have the Z-Plate active and try and get some gem damage, right? So I got 500k out of that. If we save it, then the, the buff from the Z-Plate goes away, and then you lose that extra 50% damage. So we did get the pin, and that literally is about the best that works out. 
Um, like I said, no scenario would I recommend using that this build set. It's just in there to show you guys the moves, and so you guys know I tried it. Uh, I don't like saying I tried this, it didn't work. I already did that once with the tricolor build. Um, so, yeah. All right, now we're going to do uh, two variations each of my next two move sets. These are my favorites. We're going to do yellow, double, green. So the yellow move, whenever you see the yellow move, it's a four-star move set. So the ed ed execution makes it a four-star move set. So the one you just saw would have been the three-star. So I guess at three-star, maybe you can run that one. So I guess there is a scenario, but it's just really bad compared to the rest. Uh, once you graduate to the four-star uh, move, life gets really good. So this would be what is the equivalent of his four-star move set or a four-star move set. Um, let's read these off. So you've seen the finisher. We got the bite, deal 70k damage. You also saw that and make 20 random gems, uh, destroy two gems. So we're destroying 40 gems. Uh, we're destroying 42 with uh, Taxina there. And then the new move is the 7 MP yellow, deal 76k damage, and choose a 3x2 area to swap into green gems. Pretty sure you guys can see where this one's going. Uh, we're going to swap Woodsy out for Kofi. My cat is, our foster cat is going crazy, um, making this very difficult for me. It's been, it's been that kind of morning. Okay. So let's get out there and run this one. This one is really good. The finisher hits hard, and you guys saw I have that two core move damage metal. Um, so it really increases the move damage. Uh, plus, we have the gem damage because we're destroying basically the entire board, all but three, five gems? All but five gems. Math is hard. So right out the gate, we're going to get our green moves loaded. And you can see with the green move metal, we're hitting for 150k and a 340k just in move damage. And we're going to destroy almost the entire board here. The Z uh, plate went off. So we also have a two-turn cheap shot in effect. So it's really hard to kick out. But you're going to see we're going to take almost all of all of Taker's life here. And this is a gem damage setup with Slick, Rick, and Lacey. We're going to see move damage and a little bit more trainers uh, next. You can see all but just a few gems. We get a green cascade and a purple as well. So... Yeah, 1.12 million turn one. Now I think you probably see why I cannot see a reason to run the double purple uh, when you have this move set sitting there and it recycles because you're blowing up the whole board. Again, Z plate primary, cheap shot secondary. All right, let's run this one back, but this time with move damage trainers and one rare trainer in Guker. Edge is so good, guys. Like, so good. Um, and once you get him set up right, the damage he's going to dish out and recycle is going to be ridiculous. He's, again, another one of these new cards built for the five-star game, right? We're seeing that uh, a spot in the game now where it's really kind of transferring at five-star gold to um, these characters that... Um, are built with the five-star game in mind. They hit fast, they hit hard, and they can recycle. Uh, so we were gem damage, and now we're cycling over to move damage with double fury. I'm going to want the double fury almost all the time so you can kick out in case someone lays a 1.2 million pin on you turn one. Uh, if you're rocking double fury, you're going to be kicking out of those at five-star gold most of the time as opposed to not. Um, and you won't always finish people turn one anymore, so. Uh, most of the time, my recommendations are going to be Double Fury now. 
Edge is a lot of fun to play, by the way. I really want this card. Uh, so, yeah, and I really want this skill plate. So many guys it could be good on. Like, so, so many. This skill plate is, is, like I said, one of the best skill plates they've ever made, and I love that it incorporates both offense and defense into it. It's really slick. I like it a lot. I should probably show you guys the move damage. So the yellow went up to 81k, 200k on the bite, 460k on the finisher. Uh, plus we're blowing the gems. So we're going to hit 460k and then blow up the entire board. With the Z plate going off, reducing gem damage by 35% for two turns. No cascade that time, so that's pretty weak, and we still did over a million damage with all the move damage before it. Uh, so total damage is a little bit harder that way than we saw, I think, on the previous build, uh, considering we got no cascade on this one. In the last one, we had a pretty nice cascade. I actually think this next move set is going to be my favorite at 5-star gold, especially considering the gem buff technicians get. Uh, it's going to get pretty wild. Um, so basically we're swapping one move out instead of running uh, double green we're running double yellow this is another four star move set uh, we're going to put the bleeding edge in a different countdown gem move you can see edge is the master of the countdown gems so this is a yellow one and we're going to deal 70k damage and make 20 uh, random gems into two turn countdown gems that will make two random gems into yellow gems when activated so basically, you can see what we're doing here is we're turning the entire board yellow instead of blowing it up. So we're controlling um, the gem damage we get. So we want to throw a yellow gem damage trainer on there. Um, my best right now is 35% with Cena. I will be taking Shano Mac to 9k this month uh, for Lashley because I'm sure to get him. At 9k, it's 40% gem damage. Pick up 5% more there. Um, I'm going to put Cena on here for the extra countdown gem. So that'll basically make the entire board yellow. And uh, we're going to leave Jay on here for the finisher damage a little bit. Obviously, if you have yellow gem damage trainers, that's the way to go. And I will show you guys that in the next build. Let's pop this up so bigger to see. All right, let's go out there and run this one. And again... With the gem damage buff at 5-star gold that technicians get, this one is going to be pretty filthy at 5-star gold and recycles flawlessly. Uh, plus, if you don't get pinned, you're going to stack the Z-plate. So, ideally, you do not want to put the countdown gems out first, because if you, you don't want to waste any of them, right? So, um, and hopefully we don't create a cascade. Those are the two goals. Three, but two by three is not typically too hard to not cascade. So we fill our finisher, throw our countdown gems, and then we're going to make the entire board yellow. And uh, you're going to want to wait for this hit because it's a big one. Plate goes off. So big finisher, 355k, and then the whole board yellow. Basically, we might miss like a few gems as all. Well. Uh, yeah, two gems is what we missed. We're going to get a Cascade, too. So, in total, 1.15 million damage turn one, and we have reloaded it. Uh, plus with that two, two, uh, shots of that mini cheap shot, not even close to kicking out. Uh, so we're going to run that one back again. This time using rare yellow gem damage trainers that I happen to have. Also, keep in mind... Uh, I could be getting another 5% from Cena. Um, where my Austin is at, he, I believe, has another 6%. So we could get 11% more yellow base. And Braun has 10% more to go. So 21% more yellow gem damage. Plus, um, you got 5-star uh, gold gem damage as well. And we still don't have a yellow 2200 uh, gem damage coach yet so you get the austin is pretty rare the yellow coach won't be as rare um, braun is still pretty rare too but this is the rare set so you can see how hard um, it's going to hit maxing out this gem damage 
you can see 9.6k yellow gems at five star silver that's going to be ridiculous at five star gold they're higher than his greens again z plate or if you don't have it cheap shot double fury all the way we're gonna annihilate um zombie taker here with some massive hits want to try and leave the yellows on the board too if we can so we should easily fill the whole board since there's this many yellows and this should be a big hit especially if we get a cascade at all he's got 1.4 million or 7 million left let's see how low we get him maybe 200k we get a cascade maybe all the way whole board's yellow oh so close to a big cascade um so yeah 1.1 million that was so fast let's run it again see if we get a little cascade i mean no danger of him kicking out um pretty sure five star gold completely optimized you're probably looking 1.5 1.6 million 1.7 somewhere in there with a recycle uh, plus the previous move damage that he's doing so edge folks is extremely good um and someone was giving me a hard time today saying that i keep saying all these new cards are top tier that's because they are um, they just play well, they recycle, they have big move damage, they have big gem damage. There's nothing to not like about them. In particular, the last six months, but especially the last three months, uh, pretty much all these cards are built for the five-star gold game, and they're just going to play better than the stuff we've had previously. I still think Tech Dragon is better, but uh, Edge is, we will be a close second. Plus, he's got a great coach. Um, and he's fun to play with these countdowns, so. Like I said, uh, I'll be doing a preview without the plate, so you guys can get a really good feel how we will play, uh, if you're not lucky enough to get the plate. I probably won't get the plate, I'm assuming it's in the final milestone, those are usually hard to get, but we can hope. Not much of a cascade. Not going to look much better because we didn't hit the whole board yellow. 1.18 million. So there you guys go. That's Edge. Love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments. Um, super appreciate your feedback. And please remember to like, subscribe, and share as that really helps me out. <clears throat> Other than that, guys, thanks for watching and good luck out there this weekend.